Hello everyone. Uh, let's start uh, the new subject known as the sustainable engineering. Here we have in this semester the subject uh, and the classes will be a combined classes for both electrical and civil. So we will start the subject. Now we have uh, heard this uh, term sustainable engineering uh, for past like, quite few years so you might be knowing the basic definitions but as the situation demands uh, we can see that uh, by the time you become engineers uh, whatever you design or whatever you plan finally the end product should be sustainable with uh, many aspects so it is important for you to know the basic concepts so K2 has introduced the subject uh, so we will see the brief introduction of this subject now when we see some pictures especially that I have provided in this video uh, we may think don't we need to rethink engineering because there are problems all around of varying dimensions as uh, some of the pictures I have listed shows uh, the various problems which is present in land, water, air etc. So there needs to be a solution for these. Now the rise in engineering led to the industrial revolution and then this has caused a few number of problems which has uh, wide impact on the society and the humans are exposed to toxics in food air water and soil there is a high demand for energy for transport manufacturing heating cooling depletion of non-renewable sources high demand of water rising demand of land and the number of landfills are increasing due to the increased production of waste and then the pollutant discharges climate is changing so as we see there are a lot of number of problems in and around the world so we need to find a amicable solution while all these things uh, which has been done should continue to now there is uh, not a single uh, definition for sustainable engineering but it is a concept having many many ideas which is combined together you can say that it is engineering in context engineering with a conscience engineering for a finite planet with and the infinite future these are some of the classes or categories in which uh, sustainable engineering should come under and uh, for that uh, we can somehow define uh, in broad terms bringing environmental and development issues together with the future in mind so Engineers in future, as I have asked, uh, told in the beginning, will be asked to use the Earth's resources more efficiently and produce less waste. At the same time, they should be ab able to satisfy the present needs. So that is the requirement of an engineer. Especially when you guys come out, you will be required to do and plan accordingly. So all these things come under sustainable engineering. Now I have listed a few differences uh, as uh, the headings in traditional and sustainable engineering. In traditional engineering, the factors coming up, it only considers subject, focuses on technical issues, solves the immediate problem, considers local text and assumes others will deal with politics, ethics and societal issues. These are the main uh, background which we usually do for the traditional engineering whereas while coming to sustainable we can see that other aspects are considered like concerns the system integrates technical and non-technical issues indefinite future we consider we consider it in the global context and we thoroughly acknowledge the need of engineers in solving the problems and also multidisciplinary approach will be adopted
so that's the difference between the traditional way of thinking and the way in which some sustainability criteria must be included in our thinking okay now finally we can say that the focus on the sustainable engineering must include energy efficiency should be considered recycled materials should be used pollution should be minimized reduce water use all these things uh, we know these things and we have heard these things but how to practically implement these things and how it has been implemented in some parts in some parts some parts of the world and how different caseries has been uh, we can refer for later all these things come under this subject and how to minimize the environmental damage and how to uh, last point is very important economic considerations all must be economically feasible and so all these backgrounds and boundaries should be considered still we should be able to go on effectively and efficiently in our lives and all the spheres of life so earth needs to be protected and earth should remain healthy for the coming generations too so we must adopt techniques by which we can hold together we can together bring a sustainable approach in all the aspects or all the areas in which we are doing so we will be learning these things in the class and then tomorrow we will have a live session so we will discuss these things in uh, detail please do join in time and uh, all of you are requested to search for the topics related to sustainable engineering and be prepared with a few techniques where sustainable engineering can be adopted uh, which you have seen or which you have heard so thank you see you tomorrow